Maybe I should try to shoot for those evolutions now. No matter what I do, it's still going to result in a whole lot of flailing and struggling. At least if I do one of the two, then it'll be a little easier for me to do the second. So to that end, let's see what types of preparations I can do. Four, five. Four, five, six, seven, let's say. Two totter. One of these nuts. I still can't get over that. I'm I'm sorry, just out of all the ligmas that can exist, that one in particular just wows me. It's too convenient. Seriously. I low eh, that at that I low key kind of like it. I, it's very memeable. Out of all the other D's nuts jokes that could be made or ligmas, what have you. It's one of the more entertaining ones that's kind of just a happy coincidence and it becomes funnier because of that. I don't really care for Ligmas, but I can still tip my hat to one every so often, right? I feel like sometimes I come off as a bit mixed in terms of my humor. Sometimes it's very highbrow, sometimes it's very lowbrow. And that one especially is kind of uh, that much more left field. Because I don't really make that many that's what she said or Ligma type jokes. And the few times that I do do it, it's specifically because it's accidental perversion as opposed to purposeful. I admit, I'm horny on main, but only to some extent. I'd like to think I'm at least somewhat civil. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm not civil at all. <laughs> Alright. It's time. It's time to die. Dark Crater... Once again. Okay. I'm a lot stronger than I was before. I should be able to bear it. Then again, considering a lot of the Pokemon around here are, will use Earth Power and the like, I might not. I just need to be careful. Take things bitwise. Only use my Fire-type moves when I think I need to. If I see a ground type, I try to take it out as quickly as possible. Because those guys are going to wreck my day. Okay, you know what? Cresselia, you take care of it. Thank you. At least the Chimchar line is free beans. Let's conserve my power. Let's be cautious, Casey. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm at least gonna try to make sure to default to my party member if I'm in a bad situation. And... 
medium this way. Not much. This type of floor is a pain. And thinking about it, I probably should have brought an apple or two. Oh, great. I might actually face starvation. Again. go and let's try using one of those radar orbs so far nothing remarkable sticks I mean sticks are always useful Is there anything in this direction? Box. More gravel rocks. Yeah, that's a situation I should immediately switch in. Granted, Cresselia ain't doing so hot, but I figure by the time we get into another fight, she'll be fully healed. In the worst case, I can just switch back to her simple. Or Saliana can be a vamp and take it out herself. All the better. Hey, Saliana, take out... <sighs> Never mind. Stop cringing. Thank you. Happy slaps! The happiest, slappiest party in town. There we go. That's Charmeleon. I could take those out. Oh, wow. And Cresselia is just going to go off and do her own thing. Cleanse Orb. That's not going to be helpful. I got to be careful about stepping in these lava puddles. It's black gummy. Normally for dark types, but in here it looks a little charred. Doesn't taste like charcoal, does it? No. Oh, good. Just, sometimes that's something I worry about, about the food items within these dungeons. Oh. You. Prick. Like, seriously, you'd think that some of the food items that we find in these dungeons are not safe to eat. Just gummies randomly lying on the floor. Apples that have probably seen better days. Maybe Pokemon have better digestive systems than I thought. I mean, it would explain a few things. Is 
That's an escape orb. Get to know the game is telling me you could quit if you want to. And that's the situation when I switch. Just so Celiana doesn't have to deal with missing all the time. Excellent. A little bit of money. Max elixir. Good, good. <sighs> Guess I need to. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to have to protect her elegance from uh, her own drowsiness. Imagine. How inelegant of her. I heard that. Yeah, and I don't care. Nice shot. Okay, 10 hunger. What do I have that's edible? Or at least something to consider eating. I do have a lot of max elixirs. I could sip one for now, cap out my power. This effectively means I could be a little spammier on my moves, just so I can take out opponents. And there's that ten hunger again. Ten floors. Excellent. Some extra special attack is always welcome. I'm at 20 hunger. I thought it was a lot further down than I thought. <sighs> Cresselia is struggling with their fight. Done. Another yellow gummy. Yeah, gummies do a lot more than I thought they would. I think that's like 12? That's a lot of hunger, actually. Now I know. Drop eye seed. If anything, that's not that bad to eat. So I might as well just chew it. Eventually, the effects of that will wear off, and I'll be back to my normal self. Crap. And this is why I try to make sure to switch whenever possible me. Because the Bengalis are barely beef. Ha! You're retreating? Okay. Take care of that chick. Oh, good, an apple. Eat a stick. And sell. Good target. Eleven. Chester Berry. I could just immediately take those out. 
Another Ornberry, always nice, always nice. Take out a Fire Null. And before you get any bright ideas. Actually, if anything, I should be setting Fire Fang. There's no reason for me to be throwing out flamethrowers at a point-blank distance. 15 hunger from that. That's really good, actually. Hmm. I thought it was only 10. Black Gummy. Are you real quick? This is the ideal range to use flamethrower. Another bit of attack up. Perfect. Top floors. Oh good. Okay, so how to deal with the situation? The corner, Monferno can die first. So? You're out of power. Aren't you? Shit, why did I do that? Thank you. Some more silver spikes. Good, good. Use a flamethrower. Take you out. Or not. Now take you out. Chesterberry. Crap, why did I do that? It's a Rossberry that heals burns. I don't have that. I think I have a heal seed though. No? Oh great! I don't have a heal seed, so I'm just gonna need to find the stairs fast. Because as Cell is right now, that burn is the bigger part of that burn that's gonna be a problem is the redu is the reduction in attack power. Not so much the damage itself, because it's even slower a tick than poison. And you could heal through it. It's almost a non-issue. Trade. Sticky escape orb. of items here. Troll Orb. That's gonna be handy. Nothing over there. No, oh, only now she's getting attacked? I'm actually kind of impressed. Oh, I thought she would have been attacked a little sooner than that. Oh, right. Flying type, so easy. I swear, if she uses my Reviver Seeds, do I have a Roll Call? No, I do not. Ooh. I can mail her an Ornberry. That'll at least help her survive her encounter. Tuck a rock. 
that Charmeleon is going to move up, probably. Or not. Heck, another rock. There's no way to uh, use Flamethrower a second time, right? I fucking... Cresselia, I swear. If you're unable to defeat those two opponents, I am going to disown you. Actually, you weren't even part of my family in the first place. I don't have to disown you. I can just rip up our contract. Oh, get me out of here, please. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Okay. Game seed. Bit cash. And now we get to the harder part of this. To which I'm sipping. <sighs> okay. Deep breaths me. You can do this. Deep dark. Oh, this looks lovely. A lot of Pokemon with uh, Flash Fire. A yellow gummy. Let's save that for right now. I'm better off not eating that until I need to. So when I'm 15 hunger down. Just to preserve my food. Two, three, four, five, six. That's a gravel rock. I don't really need that. And if anything, I could huck the last one that's in my inventory currently just to free the space. Quick seed. Not bad, not bad. Dark Crater 3. Another Petcha Berry. Such. I haven't encountered any Pokemon that. Uh, poison around here, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Even still, it's going to be another 5 hunger that I could just uptick at any point. Like right now. Okay. Another gummy. Good, good. Don't run into the lava me. I could survive it, sure, but the other two, not so much. Maybe Cresselia? Even still. I don't like the look of this long room. Get me out of here, please. Thank you. Be sixth. If anything, now would be a good time to use a gummy. Oh, really? You penis. Switching. Let's see, how many horns do I have? A decent chunk. Even still, free up an inventory space. Take this advance slowly, just in case there are other Pokemon around. How did I know? I lucked out on that encounter. I could have easily been shut down by that Thunderfang. But it missed. Fortunately, because Fang-type moves have a failure rate. And a fairly sizable one, too. 
If I use a warp orb, will that work on you? No? Oh my gods. I hate this. I wonder if Petrify Orb will work there. Good. You could stay in that wall. I don't want to deal with you. Because my stupid party member Cresselia has wasted two of my seeds already. And apparently, this Miss Magius has burned herself. Good for you. Go away. <laughs> that was a nightmare and uh how... Die in the face. <sighs> that was close. Oh, good. Normalize my stats, please. Thank you. Uh. Oh. So, this is an interesting moment where I can bring something up. This Rhyperior likely is all-terrain hiker. That's why it's able to stand on the fire like that and not be affected. That's something that that ability lets you do. It's dangerous for that reason. Very, very useful, too. I don't have a means of attacking, really. I could jump into the lava as well, but I don't think it's in my best interest. It might be in my best interest, because these guys are taking forever in a day. There we go. Couple of iron thorns. Actually, it was four, so a couple of a couple. Ow! Rude. It's fine. Bit of money. We're in the money. Cresselia is being a dipstick. I swear, if you're not able to take out this Torkoal... Oh, good... <laughs> this butter... So many died to make this butter... Anyway... That's an Orenberry, right? Yeah. Such, I think I have enough inventory space currently where I could spend a gummy and not really feel it. An apple. I could probably spend the yellow gummy quick. And since I'm at full hunger right now, I could probably eat this apple, gain an extra five. It's tiny, but it's something. There we go. Right into our trap. Really? Shark. I got sticks for days. Y'all ain't surviving my stick. Ow! I got plenty of those, so it's not gonna be too much of a loss if I decide to burn one. <laughs> burn. Burn a berry within a lava crater. Caldera. 
I said Caldera. <laughs> Hello, SkyJ. Hope you're doing well. It's stick time indeed. Time to stick it to him. That's a lot of orange berries so far. Ooh, tempting. Sure. Troll Orb. Rocks. A gummy, which always nice. Except when it does nothing. And how many orange berries have I got? Seven. I mean, I could bump that up to eight. What's the worst that could happen? But yeah, hope you're doing well, SkyJ. Ooh, a level up. Nice. Needed that. And we're finally at the pit! It burns! It's a dead end. Lazy Sunday. So far doing all right. A little, little nervous for my uh, new job training, which starts tomorrow. Hopefully it'll go well, but even then I'm more worried about the job itself than the training, but hey. This looks like the deepest we can go. Where's Dark Rival? Okay. Have a nice night, Zaya. Stay safe. Stay warm. You've kept me waiting. Darkrai. Good is it good of you to come, Celiana. Casey. Why do you keep after us? You don't even know us. I know you all too well. You especially, Casey. What? You came to this world with Grovile. You were caught up in an accident. An accident? Right. Grovile explained it to me once. We had an accident traveling back in time. Fish, fish. Yes, you and Grovile had an accident while traveling through time. You became separated as a result of it. You were also transformed from a human into a Pokemon. And you lost your memory as well. Has it, occur has it not occurred to you how odd that accident was? How odd? Yes. Think of how the accident occurred. Precisely when you and Grovile were traveling through time. That falls to s that fails to strike you as odd? Mm -hmm. You're implying you were involved with it, weren't you? Naturally. That accident I did cause. What? I figured. My wish is to engulf this world in darkness. I set my sights on Dialga's Temporal Tower because of, it, of its tie to time. I sabotaged Temporal Tower that would have eventually led to the destruction of time and ultimately the planet's paralysis. However, Grovile and Casey decided to meddle. I learned of their impending arrival from the future, and I attacked as they traveled in time. That way, I would be rid of them. But an unforeseen event made it impossible to be rid of either of them. It should have been enough, especially for Grovile. However, do you know how you came to be a Pokemon, Casey? During the accident, you shielded Grovile from my attack. I shielded him? Yes. You absorbed the brunt of the attack I'd intended for Grovile. 
It appears your fierce will to protect your partner became entangled with the many dimensions during your time travel. As a result, you were transformed into a Pokémon. I... I did that? I assumed what I did was sufficient. I thought I'd rendered you incapable of preventing the plant's paralysis. If anything, though... I only guaranteed that you'd be able to fix it. You met with Celiana. The two of you stopped the destruction. Because I'd underestimated and disregarded how much you would meddle, my original plan ended in failure. So that's why... That's why you decided to get rid of Casey and Celiana first this time. So they wouldn't be an impediment to your wicked scheming. So this is why you tried to break their spirit, even going so far as to use an imposter of me. Even now, you lured us here, just so you could be rid of us in one fell swoop. Very good. I did indeed intend to do just what you say. But, I've had a change of heart. So... The both of you were brave. You've shown great initiative to be rid of you forever. It seems like a tragic waste. You've both shown so much promise. Why not join me? You're kidding, right? I mean, I kind of figured that your evil monologue was going to end at some point in a join me and together we can rule the world type of event. But even still. Nonetheless, I extend the offer. Join me in ruling a world of darkness. Rule the world with you? It is entirely possible if we three band together. Well, would you join me? You don't... It... it uh, eh. Sorry. <sighs> I don't expect you two inelegant fools to join forces with this... with this pompous prick. Don't believe his lies. I wasn't planning on joining him in the first place. Are you even listening to me? Well... Suppose he's right. Who would be kidding? We don't stand a chance against Darkrai. Even if we gave our entire effort, we'd still get whipped. It's like when you could join Team Rocket. Exactly! Also, hello, Kindy. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Joining Darkrai might be the best thing to do. And... King KP, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Synapse. We host all types of wanderers, yourself included. Celiana, why? <laughs> Would you get nae <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you chose wisely, Celiana. Very practical of you. You always were one of logic. As for you, Casey, what will you do? When you are one of us, our first order of business would, of course, be Cresselia there. The three of us shall get rid of her together. Oh, you uncouth! Come on. Join us here. Don't you dare. Come on, Casey. It's not like we could do anything. If you won't join us, Darkrai won't just want me. He'll get rid of me. Let's see here. Didn't remember him being shiny. Is it a chance or a guarantee? I'm not sure, actually. It might be a guarantee. I'm not 100% sure on that one. 
might need to do a bit of research on that. <laughs> so, your choice. Would you join us? A world of darkness? Doesn't sound that bad. You know, Casey? See, your trusted partner has seen the truth. Come, will you not rule the world with us? You, her, myself, will reign as lords in the world of darkness. Consider your answer carefully. Join me, Siliana, and we'll rule the world together. My... My answer... God... Damn it, RT. What do you call a person with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. Oh. I hope you're doing well, RT. God... Damn it. I think that's the second time I've heard that joke in a week. It's in the same week, too, because I remember Muffin telling it to me as well. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Casey. Don't be fooled. My voice. Saliana? Ethan? This is all. This is all. Just one big nightmare. <laughs> Casey! Oh, good. You! Ah! Uh, I was right. I was being deceived. Darkrai was showing me an illusion. Uh, that was close. Blast it. I was on the verge of success. So is that your answer? Of course. Celiana would never consider joining a, a world of darkness like you. With you. With you. Join with you? Not on my life. A world of darkness? I won't let that happen. So be it. You've made the wrong choice. There's nothing left to say. I'll be rid of you now. <sighs> We're surrounded. I knew it. I figured you'd do something like this. How inelegant of you. Say what you will. I don't care about elegance. All I care about is reaching my solution. And ridding myself of you meddlers. I'll seize control of this darkened world. As its king. Attack. And introducing, I think, what I think is the last boss in the extra story. Dark Rye. At that, let's buy myself some time to start with. This still isn't a great situation to be in. I guess to start with. Because I believe the Magmortar has Flash Fire, so don't worry about that. Oh, great! That's exactly what I like to see. <sighs> and they're all protected from crits, so I might have no choice but to use an, over an overheat at some point. I don't have great options in this situation. Oh my gods. Twice? Twice! Twice! 
I swear, if I get dock blocked three times... Okay, it doesn't have, uh... Flash fire. That's good to know. Let's see. Focus weak demands... Fuck. Oh good, disable. So now everyone else is going to get, like, two moves before I get one. But I do have the Reviver Seeds to tank through this. Hopefully. Maybe not. Okay. Siliana's gonna need some healing. I don't care if I die, because that'll at least reset my status. If anything, it might be beneficial for me to die. So at that end, I'm going to try another Overheat. I am negative two, but even still, this should be enough to hopefully take out the Miss Magius. Maybe, keyword maybe, damage Darkrai. I highly doubt it will, considering he's like plus two on invasion. Somehow that worked. I mean, I'll take it? Yeah, he does look purple, doesn't he? I have no idea, then. Interesting. Oh my gods. <sighs> if there were any way that I could properly debuff him, I would. But I don't have the means, really. Totter Seed is my only option, really, and even then. I'm pretty sure he recovers from ailments quickly. Orbs are completely useless in a boss fight. I'm just gonna have to strike him. Actually, at that. That's two revivals. I need to take out the aggro. Oh my, I hate Intimidator! Cease! Thank you! Oh, good. Alright, flamethrower. Of course. Eat a berry. Just soak an attack, really. If anything... Might be in my better interest just to move everyone up to him. Oh my gods. Oh my gods. This is impossible. I hate... Darkrai is being a right bitch of an invasion tank. And invasion tanks are the worst. They are the cause of World War III. <laughs> Probably why Siliano wanted to join him. <laughs> Ouch. Well, 
Actually, knowing the character she's based off of. Yeah. Accurate. <laughs> Somehow that's very accurate. Yeah, keep trying to use Nightmare on me. It's going to be very, very useful. I can't attack, so I'm just gonna have to throw an Iron Thorn hope for the best. <sighs> I might as well just use Overheat at this rate. Hope for the best. Uh, of course. Hey guys, you know what the best, what the most intelligent idea for a boss fight is? An evasion tank. Evasion tanks really make you feel like you could do something against this boss, don't they? They are wondrous existences. They really are fun to fight. They're really tense to fight and engaging and interesting, aren't they? If you can't read my sarcasm right now, you might need re some remedial lessons. At this rate, I might as well just try to out-siege him so to the point that he has to use struggle. I think that says a lot. <laughs> I can't make him sleep! He has resistance to it! Ow! I can at least confuse him. And you up for propsarity. Set these iron thorns. And yeet? Yeet? Oh, that hit! <laughs> oh, that hit! Of Sure. Out of all the attacks that I've used, I just want to point this out. I have gone through... 12 Fire Fangs, 3 Flamethrowers, 4 Overheats. And 80% of those have been misses. Granted, Firefang, I expect to miss. Because out of a lot of these moves, its accuracy is pants. Six. Flamethrower? Oh, actually, Flamethrower is worse. Five. Uh, overheat? Five. Oh, Firefang, what are you doing? How? You miss it! Yeah. How? Only shiny Pokemon is Celebi in this game? One of these days. I love how this has become a stalemate. Because Darkrai is a coward and decided to go plus four in evasion. Mind you, I say coward, but that's actually very clever of him. Yeah, thanks. I'll sit up. <sighs> but, ah! 40? 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm convinced that Darkrai is out of move power right now. That's why he's standing still doing nothing. Oh, thank God! This is the dullest fight in history. And you know what the best part about this is? There's shit I can do about that. I love it. I love this boss fight. It's so interesting and engaging, isn't it? I'm just gonna hit the fast forward button while I'm mashing attack. Maybe I'll hit something. <laughs> Celiana, MVP. Celia in the nightmare. There's nothing we can do against this guy. We might as well join him. Celiana in real life. Yeah, no. Join him? More like he's going to be my bitch. <laughs> Fuck this boss fight. <laughs> Fuck this boss fight. It's terrible. I would sooner fight, like, two... I would sooner fight Dialga and Palkia together. We... Did it. I'd also like to point out, uh, with all of this joking, I have been with Cresselia like, oh, this guy is so inelegant and so disgustingly abhorrent, yet Darkrai has used the smartest strategy out of everyone. Just don't get hit, Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to win a fight is to diddle your opponent. This is why stall meta- this is why people in, uh, Pro Pokemon games hate stall meta because it works. This is the end of you. No, so don't you remember? I said you can't catch me. What is that? Okay, that's either a dimensional hole or a passage of time. <laughs> this dimensional hole can take me to the future or the past, even if I don't know where it will lead me. I've only failed today, but I'll simply plunge the world into darkness another time. Stop! Darkrai! You're not getting away. Uh. Too bad for you. I can just slip away through time with a single step. There's nothing you can do to catch me anymore. Goodbye. How do you like that? Finally at the end of all of this. It ends in my ultimate victory. I won't allow that. Yo! Palkia! You will pay a grave price for expanding the distortion of space, Darkrai. This is a strike for justice! What? No! Oh! There is no escaping my spatial rend! The hole. It shattered. With Darkrai still inside it. I heard Darkrai scream. Is he gone for good? No. That has not happened. He has suffered grievous damage, though. Been banished to some unknown place. Wherever he may be, he lives. 
when he recovers from his injuries, won't he just go back to his ways? That remains to be seen. Because when Darkrai entered the hole, he did time travel. At the precise moment, he was struck with Palkia's attack. Remember when Darkrai said... What Darkrai said about Casey's arrival from the future? Darkrai affected, attacked during time travel. Casey got hit with amnesia. How poetic that an inelegant Pokemon such as him suffered the same fate as his victim. So Darkrai's memory was erased too. Precisely. Even if Darkrai becomes a threat, it will be impossible for them to be as much of a threat as now. They'll wander, lost through the world. We are done with him. He will not likely expand the distortion of space again. I will return to the Spatial Rift. I foresee no reason to ever return here. Farewell. Well, that's that. Shall we also go back? Yes, please. I... I need a stiff drink. Maybe some soda. Let's go home, Casey. Back to Treasure Town. And that's how... And that's how our fight against Darkrai ended. When we returned to Treasure Town, we were thrilled by how excited everyone was at our return. We'd been fully fooled by Darkrai, so I thought that neither Casey nor I... Oh, whoops. So I thought that neither Casey nor I had place in the world. But when everyone surrounded us and was glad to see us back, that's when I finally thought it was truly wonderful to be alive. Little Azurl woke up from the nightmare... And so did all the other sleeping Pokémon, too. I'm glad everyone was well. I remember what Wigglytuff said back then. That every Pokémon in the world exists for a reason. Even the ones that mean harm to others. Even Darkrai. After all this, my adventures with, Kate, with Casey will continue. We'll see many things. Make many discoveries. We've gone back to Luminous Springs since then. But we still can't evolve. However, we can still exist. And that's mo more than fine for us. That alone is something we should be happy and grateful about. That's what I finally learned. Yes. Casey, thank you for always being with me. Let's keep exploring. May our friendship last forever. <laughs>